Heard has scrapped longtime attorney Elaine Bredehoft and hired a new legal team to appeal the verdict in her high-stakes defamation case against Johnny Depp. The Aquaman actress announced on Monday, August 15th that she has hired high-profile attorneys David Axelrod and Jay Ward Brown of Ballard Spar to lead her appeal, where she hopes to overturn the multi-million dollar verdict and avoid paying her ex-husband $10.35 million in damages. Sources close to the actress say that the two fell out, with Elaine making it clear she was no longer interested in representing Amber. So what went wrong between the two? Let's find out. Elaine Bredehoft, who represented Amber Heard in the bombshell six-week trial, is stepping down, while Ben Rottenborn, her court partner, will continue to work as co-counsel on the team. A spokesperson for the Drive Angry star cited a different court and new evidence as the reasons behind the shakeup of the legal team. When it comes to protecting the fundamental right of freedom of speech, we look at the jury's decision, to paraphrase a famous quote, not as the beginning of the end, but merely the end of the beginning, the spokesperson said in a statement shared with newsreaders. Rooms. A different court warrants different representation, particularly as so much new evidence is now coming to light. On her part, Elaine described her departure as the perfect time to pass the baton. I have pledged to Amber and her appellate team my complete cooperation and assistance as they move forward on the path towards success, she said in a statement. Amber's new team appears to indicate a shift in approach in her long-running legal battle with the Pirates of the Caribbean star. Her new lawyers, Axel Rod and Ward Brown, specialize in First Amendment cases and recently represented the New York Times in its defamation lawsuit against Sarah Palin. Palin had sued the paper over a 2017 editorial that erroneously linked her to a mass shooting. The New York Times won the case in February. The legal duo said they would argue the First Amendment implications in Amber's case. We welcome the opportunity to represent Ms. Heard in this appeal, as it is a case with important First Amendment implications for every American, said Axel Rod and Ward Brown in a joint statement. We're confident the appellate court will apply the law properly without deference to popularity, reverse the judgment against Ms. Heard, and reaffirm the fundamental principles of freedom of speech. The shakeup comes as Depp and his ex-wife are showing no signs of relenting in their legal battle against one another, with the former spouses both filing motions to appeal against their multi-million dollar defamation awards last month. Elaine, an accomplished and respected trial attorney in Virginia, has said that it is standard practice to hire a new law firm for an appeal. We strongly recommended that here, and we have been assisting Ms. Heard in the process of interviewing and finding her counsel, said Elaine, who added that an appeal benefits from a fresh perspective and a new set of eyes. The veteran lawyer is also ready to move on from the celebrity case that has dominated her professional life in recent years. I have a pretty heavy caseload, including a six-week trial this fall, she said. My clients have been very patient, and I really need to get back to them. The legal saga between 2016, when the Machete Kill star filed a restraining order against Depp, accusing him of bashing her in the face with a cell phone, an allegation he has vehemently denied. Six years on, the warring exes are still sparring in court and in the media, a feud that has lasted significantly longer than their 15-month marriage. With Elaine now out, the appeals case will definitely present a new dilemma. How will it all end for Amber? Only time will tell. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!